Mr. Stephen Burkhoff. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Yes, you're welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, let's get stuck straight in with things. We know your time is precious. What do you think about the state of British theatre at the moment? Well, I think it's always in a state of flux, like all theatre. And people are always, um, you know, labouring the point that, oh, well, the theatre isn't what it should be or what it has been, or what it could be, mm -hmm. and it has been better and there were golden days. So therefore, at my age, I could say there was a period when British theatre was so enthralling, uh, exciting, innovative and very dramatic. Uh, but that was because perhaps I was more alert to the theatre, mm -hmm. say, 30 years ago. And as the generations pass, um, you miss what actually held such fascination for you. Mm -hmm. So I would say the state of the British theatre is uh, very healthy and um, quite productive and um, perhaps not quite as innovative as it has been. We're seeing lots of exciting new plays coming out of theatres like uh, the Royal Court Theatre or the Donmar Warehouse and lots of critics are saying that new and exciting plays are coming out of those places. Do you agree? Those particular theatres you mentioned are hard-working and of a high standard, mm -hmm. the Almeida and Donmar, mm -hmm. and they employ always quite good actors, usually the best kind of theatre actors. People go there even from the movies, uh, but fortunately, because they need to go there. You've got to go and restore your soul and your passion and your skill in the theatre. You don't do it on film. You might think you do, you might think you give a lot of skill or what a great performance, yeah. but basically you don't. Because film can film you in short bursts, so you do need skill like a miniaturist, if you like, mm -hmm. as a painter. Still needs skill, but a lot of uh, people think, I need to get back on the stage to really see if I can hack it. Mm -hmm. And um, the difference between film and theatre, there is a great deal of difference, although I think you need great talent for both. But the difference is, one thing you're simulating, if you like, acting, and the other place you're doing, doing it. it. Yes. But those places are, uh, have been, you know, putting on interesting works. i be quite frank. I um, haven't seen any really um, um, heart-stirring work at either in recent years. I've seen very good work and sometimes decent work, but I wish that they wouldn't do so many revivals of the old favourites, you know. We don't have to keep seeing revivals of Pinter. Uh, it's like all the kind of classics, although he's absolutely a very worthy writer. Mm -hmm. But we don't really have to keep seeing them. Be a bit bolder, be a bit braver, look for writers that are really good, that haven't had the chance, but that's the only note I would give to them, not to play so effing safe, but otherwise, good work, chappies, and carry on the good work. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. 